Hey YouTube, it's Trish, and today is Friday, which means yesterday was Dollar Day at Goodwill. And I got a handful of things, I actually got some things that weren't clothing. I found some designer stuff, and some not designer stuff, and some things that I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be. So maybe you can help me out with that. So let's get into it. <clears throat> yesterday's dollar tag was orange. So all of these are orange with the exception of this one because it was designer, and I'll show you that later. Here's this dress by a company called Lush. I don't know who they are, but it's a summer dress. I feel like I sh shouldn't be buying summer stuff anymore, but if I can sell it cheap, then I might as well at least try to get a few bucks. But I really like the uh, back detail on this one. Super cute. Nice blue color. This is velvet, of course. I feel like this channel's like 90s vibes for sure. Pretty sure this is something I had when I was a kid or something similar to it, especially with the butterflies. Can you see them? I don't know if you can tell, but I'm recording on a better camera today. Um, I wanted to take video of the barbecue, but my phone camera was just so bad that you couldn't really see what was being recorded. So. Um, a friend of mine gave me her old Galaxy S5, and so I'm trying that out today. So hopefully you can see the the detail on this. Because I know with the last camera you couldn't see detail on velvet, but I thought this was super cute. And for some reason, since everything from the 90s is coming back, this should be an easy sell. You'll think anyway. Here is a strapless dress from Vol or Jol. It's really pretty. I wonder if I could fit this. Like these types of tops are kind of forgiving, so I might be able to get away with it. Speaking of, this dress was also a dollar buy from yesterday. I just have to try it on to see if it fit, and it does. I was a little bit concerned because I've never worn this type of cut before, but it actually keeps me kind of modest, which I prefer. I like it. Okay, this is Vera Wang, Princess Vera Wang, and I have no idea what it's supposed to be. I thought it was supposed to be a dress because it was in the dress aisle, and it has a zipper in the back, and it has these the hanger tabs on this thing, as if it's supposed to be worn like this. But... The center front of this puckers out, if you can see from the inside, puckers out and it has like a little tiny tube, <laughs> a little tiny hole. I have no idea what that's supposed to be because it would be like right in the front if you wore this as a dress. This thing would just be sticking out right in the front. What the heck is this? You know, like I thought maybe it was supposed to be like a one shoulder dress, but you can't fit your arm through this tiny hole, so. I have no idea. If anybody knows what this is supposed to be, can you please let me know? <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It should have looked better when I was buying stuff, but I just saw the tag and their brand and bought it. So I guess that's all me, right? Uh, this BCX dress, I really liked the uh, contrast of this, and it has pockets in it. Super cute. Size 9. Loved it. Yesterday was interesting. Um, my friend Amber and I had gone shopping. Her, her husband came with us, too. And the first Goodwill that we went to had a bunch of other resellers there. And you can tell the resellers based on what's in their cart and usually it's a ton of clothing. And there was just like a ton of people. And I was in like the dress section with like three other women. So you're kind of like battling each other. And then the Goodwill we went to after must have been the Goodwill they all just came from because it was torn up. But I was able to get a few things. The dresses are mostly from the first one. And the winter stuff that I'm going to show you uh, later on is from the second one because all the dresses were gone from the second one. But I did find this little dress. It's 
the size one, two, super tiny, but super cute. Flowers, I love it. It has like the grippy um, rubber tape along the top to keep it on the skin. So cute. Ugh. Really nice contrast. The colors are really nice and bright. I feel like in Arizona though, you can wear dresses all year round as long as you have a jacket to wear your time. Why not? So this is probably one of my favorite dresses that I found, but it's not my size. The size, small. I hope somebody buys this and just loves it. But look how cute. It's a velvet dress with gigantic swirls. They almost look like they're supposed to be roses, like abstract roses, but it also could just be swirls because it's not really a rose, but it has that vibe to it. And the way that it's cut, it has like a little bit of a flare at the bottom, just super cute. And the back has a button at the top with like a little keyhole. Oh, I love it. But it's too tiny for me, which is okay, but so cute. Uh, this is a summer romper by Kira. Well, not a romper, it's a dress. It doesn't have shorts underneath that I recall. No. But I, of course, flowers. I love the colors. The collar, the cutout detail. It basically just has everything you want except for pockets. It does not have pockets. But I thought this is super cute. I'm sure that could be worn in the winter somehow. Maybe. Maybe I'm just optimistic. I don't know. Um, this is by Bella Du Jour. Size medium, made in Mexico. I really like the colors of this. And let's see. This is a skirt as well. I thought that was really cute. This kind of top doesn't really look that great on me, but it's grippy, it's not for me. This is kind of a wintry dress. It's got some sleeves and it's more of like a like um, a knit fabric, like a sweater. And it's by Lily Rose. I think I actually have, I sold a Lily Rose sweater dress for a few bucks. I forget where, Poshmark maybe? But this is super cute. It comes with like a little belt and everything. And it has like the skater skirt style really comfy feeling and it's a size medium I love the wide shoulders that'd be really cute for fall with some leggings or not you do you so this dress definitely channels 1990s like Janet Jackson uh, Jennifer Lopez vibes like look at that oh my god it even has like the elastic in the back Oh my gosh, true 90s lovers will be all over this. Do you think? Oh, it's from Wet Seal. So it's a cheaper brand, so I can only sell it for a few dollars, but it's got a nice solid like metal zipper, so at least it's got that going for it. Sass. All sass all day. So this is from, I don't think this is a good brand, Body Central. But this was a dollar. It's one of those bandage dresses, size large. I will not be trying this on. But it has like this weird wrapped bandage thing. I wonder how this came into style. People were just like, let's do the mummy look all year round. How can we do it? And there you go. I guess it can look sassy, but for a dollar, whatever, maybe somebody will buy it. I thought this is super cute. I really liked how this one was constructed, especially with the top here. This is by Margo and Sebastian, size five. It's got a really nice heavy duty gold zipper. I'm like, ugh, I love gold. It's a really nice high low dress. So cute, so tiny, <laughs> but so pretty. These aren't colors you really see that often in summer clothes either. I like that. Uh, 
already. I think this is the last for the summer stuff. This little dress by Forever 21. Super cute. I don't really care for that store because of how they uh, acquire their clothing. But sometimes I'll see something of theirs and it'll just resonate with me since it's got flowers on it and it's basically lace and it's pink. But we'll see. This is size medium. One dollar. We'll see if we get lucky. So uh, this next handful of stuff is like more winter and fall items. So there's this dress, it has a cowl neck. It is from CDC Petite, size 10. I really like this. And it comes with this little drawstring. How cute. This would look really cute like under um, like one of those long jackets, like a tweed jacket. Uh, this little overcoat is by Fairweather USA. It was actually made in the USA, go figure. I tried putting it on, it's a size medium, and it's extremely itchy. It is not comfortable, but it is cute because it's houndstooth. Houndstooth is cute. Well, it's not a true houndstooth, but it's almost there. And it has pockets, super cute, but it's really itchy. So I'm thinking this can only really be worn with like a long sleeve something, otherwise there's no way. There's just no way. It has like a velvet strip, like the piping, like all the little contrast black pieces are all velvet. I mean, it's, it's cute, it's just not comfortable, it's very itchy. This jacket is way cool. I cannot believe I found this for a dollar. There's no maker tags in it, there's no size tags in it. There are no tags whatsoever, but look at this thing. It's like a like a pea coat, but it has velvet accents on it. So it has like the velvet lapel, and it has like velvet pockets. It has all these nice buttons. Oh, it's so cool. And this is actually a women's jacket, surprisingly. I thought it was gonna be like a small men's jacket, but it definitely is way too small to be a man's jacket. Like I'm thinking this is a medium. I don't fit into mediums very well and this is pretty tight. I'm trying to put it on. But look how cool it is in the back. It's got like coattails. Where is it? Can't see what I'm looking at. It's got coattails. See that? Look how cool. Oh my gosh. And it's really heavy. Like I can imagine somebody like riding a horse on this. Maybe that's what this is for. Oh my god. So cute. So I don't know how to look this one up because it doesn't have any tags in it whatsoever. Make sure I'm modest. Uh, let's see. Look at this cute dress. This one is a Forever 21 dress as well but I really like the uh, style of it. I'm a sucker for this kind of style. This one looks super cute with leggings. Has a nice mesh top, princess cut, skater skirt. It's all pretty stretchy too. What size is this? It's a size small. Not even gonna attempt it. Let's see, this dress, I need to research this one. It is to the max, size two, and it has a little bit of everything. It has like this mesh top, which is super cute. It's got like a tweed bottom. I don't think this has pockets. No pockets, but it's styled super cute. The back's really sweet. So cute, right? It's a little cutout and a zipper and a button. All cute. We'll see. I like that one. Good find. This is one of my other favorite finds. I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually a shimmer on this dress. It's got like purple 
lime green, aqua bluish, black. You wouldn't think these colors go well together, but it looks really, really nice. And I don't know if you can see from that angle, but it's got kind of like a shimmer to it. It's a polyester, so polyesters have like a shine, but it really is accentuated in this. I think it's meant to be. But I think this would be perfect for the winter time. I'm all about mixing prints, so I would love to, if I could keep this, if this was my size, which it's not, size medium. Oh, it's a Lily Rose dress as well. I would totally wear this with like black tights that have like velvet polka dots on it. That's just me. Um, I think it's so cute. Oh, I hope somebody buys it. I w it would suck to have to look at this in my closet knowing I can't wear it. All right. Look at this cool jean jacket. So this is by Jones, New York. And I think it's a little big for me. But it's kind of cute, right? This pattern, I thought it was like a leopard print at first. And leopard print on denim kind of throws me off a little bit. But looking closer, it's like more of like a damask kind of pattern. With like the swirls and everything. So it's not, definitely not animal print. But this has to be like a size, just, just a size bigger than I am. Let's see. Oh, you can't see the size. So this is probably like a one or two XL. But it's super nice. All the buttons are there and it has one of those little cinchy things in the back to bring it in if you need it to. And who doesn't need a nice denim jacket? I think I've got like two. Okay, some shoes. I found these naturalizers. They're kind of a funky shape. Like I tried to squeeze into them. They're like an eight and a half which is not my size, so it was a little bit painful. Um, but the soles are really nice and they were only a buck. And I think these look really cute like for office wear. I like them, I don't know if you can see them. They hardly look worn too. So, uh, okay, we'll get into some of the designer stuff. I had no idea what this was. It was in the miscellaneous area. And opening it up has like a little divider in it, which is synonymous with bottle holders, right? So the brand is Cutter and Buck, and it is a bottle holder. And I found it online. I think the most expensive one was like two hundred dollars, and the least expensive was forty. And I picked it up for four bucks, so I figured I might as well sell it for a couple. We'll see how this does. Um, I'm not too familiar with this brand, so hopefully something can happen. Uh, this purse I got, I'm actually using it as my purse now. It's a Tony and Birch bag, and I got this for six bucks. I already took the tag off since I'm using it. But I don't know how to authenticate these ones. I haven't seen any Tony Birch bags that have like the inverted symbol on the front, but it does have the actual symbol on the inside right here. Um, we actually found Amber a uh, convertible free people purse that I was initially going to get, but she liked it so much I let her get it instead. But um, I really like the colors and I'm a sucker for crossbody bags. And, oh my god, look how cute this looks together. <laughs> I'm going to have to go out. <laughs> Evan's car has a flat tire, so I'm just going to have to take him to work because I need to go out in this outfit. Look how cute. Okay, we're just going to sit like this the rest of the video. Um, I do have more clothes. It's the designer stuff I wanted to show you. Uh, let's see. This was actually the first item that I found Goodwilling. And I believe it's like a, a bathing suit cover by Calvin Klein. That's kind of like what it feels like it is because it's thinner, it's cotton, it has that look to it, right? <clears throat> and it's got that like little cinch in the middle. But I like that it has long sleeves. I've never seen one with long sleeves. I thought that was super cute. That was just sitting by itself in the uh, plus size section, even though it's a large. Maybe I'll keep it. My size. Let's see, I found these Juicy Couture sweatpants. Size large. Oh, maybe I'll keep these too. 
I don't think these are large. Looking at this, I don't think my waist can fit in that. Maybe these are large in kids. I don't know, but they're cute, right? The lore, it looks like all the little gems are still on there. Yeah, all the gems are still there. Really nice velour. Velour kind of looks like a faux velvet. I like that. But yeah, one dollar for those. Oh my god, Amber found a Dolce & Gabbana kids track jacket. Maybe it wasn't kids, it could have just been a small women's, but come on, Dolce & Gabbana, it was so cool. I'd never seen anything like that at Goodwill. Uh, oh, these are Reebok. I don't know if that counts as like designer, but they are Reebok size large. Swishy pants. These actually feel really nice, and they got like this pretty purple piping on it. Pretty purple piping. Hard to miss so much. But one dollar, you can't can't beat it. These would be actually really nice for hiking. So if I can fit them, maybe I'll hold on. Amber found this one and then wasn't going to get it. It is a Polo Ralph Lauren hoodie, which will be perfect for when it gets like chilly and rainy here. It does get really cold and rainy here in the winter times. Beyond popular belief. belief, belief. <clears throat> yeah. It's a Ralph Lauren hoodie for a buck. Comfy. And then a couple things that are neither clothes nor anything else, but I found this Pyrex bowl, which is really nice. You can't really go wrong when it comes to Pyrex for mixing. And then this little tea set. So there's four cups, four tea cups. And when the girl was ringing them up, she saw that the tea cups had like a, I don't know if you can see that, but like a times two on there. It's a two piece set, right? The cup and the saucer. So that's supposed to tell her this is a two piece set. So when she saw that and she saw that I had four, she thought that it meant two go together and then the other two go together. So I really only spent 50 cents for each set. Super cute. And now I feel obligated to uh, actually drink tea out of these. You can drink iced tea out of teacups, right? It's a little bit too warm here to be drinking hot tea, but who knows. But I thought these are super cute. See them? They've got like purple and gold on them. I'm a sucker for some pretty gold. And then the plates. Minus the tape. They're, they have 24 karat gold plated on them. Woodstock fine porcelain. Super pretty. But uh, I guess that's all I have for today. I think I spent $40 total on everything, maybe $43. Um, in the two stores, I think it was like 20 in one store and 23 in another store. And that's after I rounded it up and gave them uh, a donation. So I'll hopefully be able to photograph some of this stuff today and get it up on Poshmark and get some things sold because my closet's getting filled and nothing is going anywhere. But I guess until next time, bye.